Got another nice walleye right from camp. I'll let this guy go. I'll try to catch another one. Morning Monday, this dryer of sleeping pads. Oh, speak of the devil, he's messing up another one. Oh, it's kind of warm in here. I think he wants outside. Okay. You know, it's getting too warm in here to handle. I need to get outside. We're gonna get up and get outside. Let's do it. Hi. Hi, Monty. It's another day. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that butt. Look at that fuzzy butt. Oh my gosh, it's so fuzzy. Look at that fuzzy booty. Look at that fuzzy booty. Oh, you stopped that. You stopped that, mister. So, yeah, this guy last night, after I adjust my hat hair, let me just make sure it looks super pretty. Is that good? Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Um, yeah, after after uh, he popped the pad and then went on mine and I kicked him off and laid on that green thing, he adjusted like four times just like, and he kept getting right up in my face like, well, well what the heck, aren't you going to share with me? What's going on here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Want to show me a new trick, Monty? Clap. Oh, clap your legs. Clap them legs. Okay. Good job. It did. <laughs> Anyways, we got some blue slice. It seems beautiful outside today. We're gonna we're gonna do some paddling today. We might do a little fishing today, and we might do some portaging today. So what do you say? I say let's make up some some breakfast. We've got a real special breakfast today. I've been saving this one for a while. I was, uh, you know, I was like, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, smoked salmon, some cream cheese, some bagels, maybe um, some uh, capers, and uh, some eggs, over easy eggs. And that's what we're going to think about as we eat our oatmeal instant packets, which is what we got, again. Instant oatmeal. So, let's queue up the old coffee oatmeal sequence and start packing. Let's do it.
Wait, Monty. Hold your horses there, Skippy. All right, just gonna finish up my coffee and oatmeal here, finish packing, and let's get on that water, get the pile of porridge and fishing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. You want this before we go? Oh, oh yes he does, yes he does. All right, go get it Monty, go get it Monty. Go ahead, go ahead Monty. You can do it, you can do it. You're a beaver, you're a beaver. Get the stick. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, it's warm out. Come over here, Monty. This is a better, that's gonna be a little tough. Oh, never mind. You're, oh, 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 no, oh, jeez. You ready to go for a little further one? Get it, Monty. Go get it. Go, go ahead, Monty. Go get it. Go get it. Dive. Good boy. You got it, Monty. You dunked your whole face in the water, but you got it. Definitely gonna struggle getting up over there. You might want to come over here, Monty. Monty, over here. Uh, that's like a flat rock, Monty. Monty. Oh, that does not look. Oh, I guess you got claws. Oh no, Monty! No, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, Monty. I need. I needed that all over my tackle box. Yeah, the water weight will be nice. All right, wet rodents, one more. You're already wet now. Oh, jeez. Man, watch my tackle box. You're crazy. You're, you're insane right now. All right, go get it. Go get it, you frisky critter. All aboard. Yes, it's good times. Come this way. So, yes. Do you have your tickets? Come, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Get in, get in, go ahead. Get in, go ahead. Go ahead, Monty, get in. Get in. Get in, Monty. Come on, go on, Monty, get in. In, come on. 
Oh boy. All right, and we are off. Seems like it's gonna be a blue skies kind of day. Hot, sweaty, sticky. I'm thinking today's the day we're gonna do some swimming. Yeah, I definitely feel like swimming. So we actually camped right near the portage. So we're just gonna zip on over to the portage, start the day off sweating, and get moving to the next lake. We've got like five porridges planned, maybe six. I don't know, there's there's a bunch there, but they could be skipped. It depends on how many beaver dams show up and whatnot. So let's start the day. gave my head a dunk. Oh man, this breeze feels absolutely amazing. Uh, it feels really great. I also think it is time to finally bring out a little something. Monty probably, yeah, his head's peeking up, he's like, what's he getting? What's he getting? It is not something for you, Monty. It is time for the blue. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the northern mating call. You just go, oh yeah, they come running. <laughs> I was just thinking about the difference between Funk and Monty. And uh, one of the main differences struck, struck me this morning. It was, uh, I just got done taking a poop and I walked up to Monty's face and I started rubbing it and he was just loving it. He was just, oh, just loving it. But if I were to do that to Funk, yeah. Oh, never dare. <laughs> I'm sure there's other differences, but we'll have to find out. We're just gonna have to figure them out. That's one, we got one. One big difference. I'm sure there's one. let this little beaver follow the boat for a minute here. Like the good old days. Remember Monty used to swim around the boat all the time. Now it's hot enough. And it's shallow enough to where he's definitely able to just walk along the shore if he wants. Oh, so a lot of people have asked, what are these pink patches all over my body? You know, you see them here, got a little bit on my forehead and my arms. Well, that is psoriasis. That is what happens when you're born wrong and you get a genetic skin disorder for the rest of your life. And it's gonna probably get worse every year until the day I die. And I just ignore it. But uh, a lot of you have given me suggestions as far as like diet to, to help it or different cream stuff. I just don't care. I just ignore it. Until it becomes an issue, I'm going to keep ignoring it. I mean, I ain't doing no specialty diet. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, so I just don't care. I'm just going to keep ignoring it. It doesn't bother me. 
other than it's itchy sometimes. How you doing, Monty? It is hot. I'm gonna need some sunscreen soon. Whew. The Monty Phelps in all his glory. Sure, cut, cut, cut me off. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Monty. Monty, you get. Monty just sit down so hard on that side, he put all his weight just sitting straight up. It went plop, and it almost flipped us. Luckily, we're in a foot of water, but yeah. Jeez, Monty. Okay, I think there's one more portage. I'm not 100% sure because my maps, it's like this, it's this weird spot in the maps where it's the four corners of four different maps all come together at one spot. And you just can't, I just like glanced at them because I didn't want to like, when I put everything in my map holder, I fold it all, so I'm not just gonna put four maps folded up. It'd be a mess looking. So I think it's it's somewhere over here. If there is one, either we're on a lake or it's one more. I'm pretty sure. But I'm I'm like I'm like 50% sure that there's another portage. I think it's over here. Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. I'll pull out the map if I need to. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Don't scrape my legs. Sure, son. Go away right when I'm about to go swimming in the cold water, huh? Okay. All right. Oh yes, hi, hi guy. Oh, oh yeah. Whew. A tidbit nipply, tidbit nipply. Still feels good though. Oh. So normally I'd just go without underwear on, but uh, last time I went swimming, I was wearing my undies, and a, a light bulb went off in my head, and I was like, wow, I got quick drying underwear for a reason. I can bathe in them and wash them at the same time and then they dry and I got clean underwear again right Monty yeah look at your little overbite going through the water <laughs> come here come here Monty look at your little overbite come here come here Monty 
Monty, overbite. There's a shark in the water, it's a Monty, he's so stinky, look at his tiny little beady eyes, his overbite, it's no surprise. Monty, t t t t t t t t Monty, Monty, Monty. Hey, good boy. Well, that is refreshing. I'm not sure if we're gonna stay on this lake or not. Uh, it's pretty early still, but now we are going to, I'm gonna dry off. We're gonna air out for a minute. Oh, geez, slip on a rock. We're gonna eat some snacks. And then we're gonna get out there and do some fishing. We're gonna at least spend a couple hours on these. There's two big lakes that are kind of connected. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we're feeling up to. Okay. Oh yeah, I am feeling rejuvenated and alive, very alive. Um, we have got six hours and 18 minutes of sunlight remaining. We're on two big old lakes that are connected by a channel. Um, so there's no portaging for the time being. So I don't know if we're going to be moving on or not. That is undecided. I am freshly, just feeling fresh. I put some sunscreen on because the sun is very hot right now. This is very intense for mid-May or late May. Uh, yeah, definitely above average temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna fish our way across these lakes and if we're having, you know, we're catching fish here and there, uh and we're having a good time we might just stay here if we're not having any luck and i'm just not getting any bites we'll just keep moving we'll just see because i i definitely need to catch a pita we got to catch a fish for the day we got to catch a fish every day for sure and um we've already caught a larry a bobby and a walter so we need a pita pike and a fish so we got a down tree right up here if it's deep enough, we're going to start casting. Otherwise, we just might troll for a minute. But this all looks so good. Yeah, we got to take a few casts. Maybe we should just not use leeches for a minute. And just cast. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. All right, I got a steel eater on there. Because you're we targeting pike. That was not where I was trying to cast. But we'll take it. So for targeting pike, I don't like when I'm when I'm casting near down trees, you know, for bass and like wall, I like to get near the ends, mostly for bass. I like to get right all up in there. They'll be anywhere. Pike, I feel like like to be more off the ends towards a deeper side, waiting for something to leave those trees that they can just snatch up. So that's what we're gonna try here. Casting kind of off the drop-offs, letting it sink. But they'll be in the shallows too. Cause it's, oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was a fish. I thought that was a fish. It wasn't, it was a snag, but it got free. Um, yeah, pike will be in the shallows this time here cause the water's still cold, but it's hot out. So it's like heating up that shallow water. So there's like bait fish. We'll also try trolling, casting a big old spoon. As far as going for walleye uh, with the, the slip bobber and leeches, I feel like it's just a little too bright in the middle of the day. They might bite, but I'm, I'm not going to really target them right now. And I don't think there's bass in this lake, which is pretty surprising. Because if there was bass, I would throw on those leeches and catch bass all day. All right, we're gonna throw in a big old spoon and do a little trolling. Monty is just making the boat uneasy because he's licking himself to death. All right, we've got a three quarter ounce big old, what is that? We got a fish! Ooh, whatever this is. Oh, this is a big fish. Ooh. I have my hat off and everything. 
Oh yeah. What is this? There's no way it's a bass. This is either a lake trout or a pike. Oh yeah, Monty. Come on, baby, what are you gonna be? I'm thinking the way it's just staying down and it feels like a big old log, it's gotta be a lake trout. Whatever it is though, either, either it's hooked funny or it, it's got some serious weight to it. It definitely feels like I'm bringing in a log. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> this is a fighter. We've got a feisty fish on here. What the heck is this? I think this is a pike. Oh, oh, oh that's a big pike. Oh, oh. Stay, stay. oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing was huge. So, but I want to try a spoon here before we switch to that for a little bit. So we're gonna do something that I normally just don't do, and that is uh, go in the kind of shallows searching for pike. That's what we're gonna do right now. It seems like there's a spot that's like kind of 10 feet, a little drop off, there's some rocks poking up. We'll see if there's a pike here. We're gonna, we're gonna search for a pike uh, that's hunting in the shallows looking for those bait fish in the warmer water. Um, cause normally I just, you know, cast off drop-offs and stuff. We'll try the shallows, 10 feet of water. We'll see what, what comes up. We'll toss a spoon and, uh, you know, maybe we'll get a big old Peter Pike. Something that'll crush that, uh, 81.7 inch legendary pike that I missed back in the day. myself there. It'd be nice if I could find some weeds. And I know we'd have a good chance for a big old pike lurking in the shallows. Oh, there's a hit bottom. Yep. 100% hit bottom. Or something else. Because I got a snack. I think we're going to make the switch back to my uh, 
Mr. White Twister Tail, because that's always caught me a good amount of pike. And I haven't had a single bite with a spoon yet, so... Just gonna do a little casting offshore, letting it sink a little bit, then bringing it back in slowly. I got a quarter ounce jig, so it's gonna get not too slowly. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we're gonna switch back to the old uh, chartreuse slayer and do a little trolling. Finally getting a little bit of cloud coverage. I don't know the last time the sun has felt this hot on my skin. And I don't know if that's because um, I just haven't been in the sun much this season, but I just don't remember it feeling this hot. I mean, I coated myself in sunscreen. That was an hour ago. And I feel like I should probably put on a little bit more because, like, when that sun is beating on me, it is just like, it's hot. It's gosh darn burning me. So it might just be, like, some extremely intense sun for some reason. <gasps> but, yeah, like I said, I'm just not used to being that, feeling that hot. Especially on my, like, hands and stuff. But I kind of wouldn't mind if the clouds... Yeah, it looks like there's some decent cloud coverage. I'm sure Monty would mind. He's just like, he is just snoring in the back of the boat there. You can hear him snoring. He's out. Oh, dang it. I think we just got a snag too. Yeah, it's a definite snag. Dang nabbit. snoring Monty. He's just loving life right now. Hey buddy. Yeah, we're still just paddling around. I know it's been pretty warm out, but Seems like we're gonna get a little cloudage for a while, so you know, just relax, take her easy, and just enjoy yourself, Marty. Do whatever you feel like doing as long as you can do it in the boat, okay? I just farted. We lost the Monty, he went back to relaxing. Um, so I think what I've decided is that I am going to probably stay on one of these two big lakes here. We're just going to troll to a campsite because uh, I just, I would not feel right if I gave it, you know, say I gave it my fishing shot in the middle of the day when it was super hot. I would like to wait a couple hours and get to like, get to about three hours before the sun sets and then start fishing pretty good. And then maybe even do like a real an actual evening fish where we go out right before sunset and go for some walleyes after sunset. So I think that's probably more so what we're going to do is just troll our way to a campsite, get everything all set up, kind of hang out while the sun's out and everything, and then get back on the water when it gets towards the evening because I feel like my chance will do way better. But you can see that it's, it's about to be a little, a little more cloudy. It's been pretty open and sunny for a while here, and yeah. But we'll keep 
trolling. We'll see. There's still hope for a fish. Big old pike. Something. You know. I don't really have high hopes for a uh, uh, walleye though right now. Mr. Walter, I think, would be taking her easy with the sun. I just had the realization that three of my trips last year, I got to camp the first night in the dark. I was paddling in the dark and I don't think, uh, the only one that I knew it was gonna happen was the first one. The one with my dad and my brother, we weren't expected to do that one in the dark. They were just like, okay. I was like, yeah, this is how it goes. And then with Funk, uh, yeah, we got turned around a little bit. Yeah. So that was my bad. It started raining. Can't even believe that. How many did I even take? I did five trips last year. And three out of five, I got to pad, did a lot of night paddling. Jeez. The first one, I, I uh, started in the dark and finished in the dark. I remember that, I couldn't, there was no nothing I could do. I had to go home early. That was fun, that was a fun drive. Leaving at night, driving like eight hours and then arriving at home and the, uh, the sun's coming up. That was, that was definitely an interesting one. Interesting, interest, interesting. Monty is snoring so loud. Piglet back there. You probably can't hear it from up there, but he's definitely just snoring. He's just having himself a field day, just snoring away. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. That overbite. Sorry, Mike. You continue on with your sleep. All right, we've got a little shallower channel here. So I am going to try casting a leech on a jig head and see if that will work. We'll take any fish at this point, but uh, I think a pike would bite that. I mean, anything would bite a nice looking thing like that. But it's kind of shallower here and it's like a nice back channel. So we'll see if we can, pretty much we're targeting pike right now. I think this shallow is not a bad idea. I don't think we're going to find the walleye or the lakers here, though. A little too shallow. Especially with all the sun, like I've said a million times. And as far as pike goes, I've never, I never really used... The only thing I know to catch pike are, like, other fish. You know, like perch or bluegill or something. You'll know, take one of those, put on a big old treble hook with a bobber. Or a piece of schmelt on a, uh, like a spoon. Other than that, I've always used just artificial. So I don't know about leeches. I have had them bite leeches before on a slip bobber. Definitely. It just, uh, it's, it's something I don't think about. What the hell? What's that? I think something just took a bite at this thing. It wasn't no pike though. Yeah, I definitely saw some minnows. So there's got to be a bigger fish around here somewhere. This braid, sometimes it, it comes so sudden when you get a snag, it feels like a bite. It's something I, I just have not gotten used to yet. It just, it gets that like, <gasps> that feeling. With, with uh, mono, I can tell a little more easily because it like stretches, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hit as hard. My butt's getting a little sore. We're gonna have to stretch for a minute here. Get out of the boat, stretch our legs. This water is so dang clear. Ooh. This 
seems like a place walleye would definitely be. It's like big old rocks. And it goes right to deep. Let's just, let's just try bouncing off the bottom here for a minute until we get a snag. All right, we've got this nice channel that goes between these two big lakes. We're going to spend a good minute here fishing. Oh, I can't stop farting. I'm going to need to make a second poop today, maybe. Oh. There's definitely minnows all over right here. There's got to be some big fish lurking. There's just got to be. You know, the fish like to be where the bait fish are. You'd think. So much for the thunderstorms, hey? I thought we were gonna get a thunderstorm today. Uh, instead we got plenty of sunshine. All right, we're, we're gonna put a twister tail. After we deal with the snag. All right, I've only got a couple of these, but I got the bigger white twister tail on here because uh, the quarter ounce jig split open the other one and it wasn't staying on very well so we're gonna try the bigger one all right let's see if we can get any fishies down this channel doesn't seem like it's crazy deep in between the channel but still could be pike lurking swimming through you never know until you try There's nice little deep pockets between rocks and stuff. Ducks. Oh, that duck cruised by. Come on, there's gotta be a fishy in this channel. Just gets to be one. Ooh. All right, we're going to take a butt break on the other side of this channel. Find a nice spot where there's a little bit of shade because yeah my butt needs a little little break from sitting in this chair my back wouldn't mind it either but i want to stretch out my cheeks there's minnows all over how is there no big fish why oh, it's a nice shaded spot there's got to be something just lurking right here this is the spot deep hole right through this channel all right monty a couple more casts and then we're, we're gonna go find a nice spot to get out of the boat okay oh he's sitting up oh geez. i can't sit like that if he's sitting up Booty, Monty. I call this one the two squat to trot. Oh. Hi, Monty. Hi. Yeah, I'm just stretching out my butt and my back, opening up my hips. Don't, don't lick sunscreen. Don't you do it. I definitely got some sun. Oh yeah, I'm a little red. <laughs> oh, ah, come on, see. get your gross tongue out of there, you weirdo. You can go swimming if you want. Feel free to do as you please. Yep, I'm just gonna do this for like five minutes here. Uh, looks like it should stay pretty cloudy. 
uh, the rest of the day. I mean, there's still going to be some spots of sun, but it's not going to be like it was earlier, hopefully. That should improve the fishing because we've still got four hours and 15 minutes of light left. We're going to spend the next hour trolling around looking for a campsite on this lake. And then set up, come back out for the evening fish. Oh, I just noticed there was a nice perfect beaver stick here. And Mr. Monty loves his beaver sticks. Go get it, Monty. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to, Monty. You can... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that cry said, Dad, I'm dry! I don't... Oh, beaver stick! Sorry, Monty, I didn't... I didn't think... I thought maybe you'd want to cool down a little more. Little stinky beaver. Oh, no, shake out, shake out. Oh, I don't want you to shake out on me. The water's cold. There you go. I already went in once. Oh. Uh oh. Just go for it, Monty. <laughs> it drops off there, huh, Monty? Uh, oh, jeez. I don't even know if any of that it was on camera. Oh jeez! Look at you, wet rodents. You're a wet little rodent, Monty. Do you like your sticks, though? Okay, wait, 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 wait. don't bounce. Okay, simmer down. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, he's having fun. Monty, you overshot the stick by double with your teeny tiny little beady eyes. There you go. It's so hard for me to stop throwing it for him once he already gets wet. Because like it's the, it's the first one where he's like, I don't know about this. And then every other one he's just like, yeah, yeah, more. Alright, since we got a trifecta of Larry Walter Peters in this lake. I'm going to do the thing I did last night to catch the uh, Larry's when we had the double Larry, the double Larry conundrum. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, leech on the thingy with the chartreuse thingy, and then hopefully we catch the thingy. So we're going to get out towards deep. It looks like there's a path I can take that'll stay at least 40 feet of water. Because I ain't going to want to go much shallower than that, running that whole get up. But it's finally, I finally felt cool enough all day to take my shirt off here. That was kind of a nice feeling. It feels a little, just, it feels good right now. It's just not hot. I'm glad the sun's kind of gone away for the day. I, uh, yeah, I got cooked a little bit. <laughs> Even with sunscreen, that's what I was saying, is I don't fry easily. And especially because I don't usually use sunscreen all the time. And I put a good layer on all over my shoulders and everything, and I still was cooking. Probably should have just wore this or the long sleeve version of this. But anywho, let's get out in the open and do some trolling. Alright, that whole get up is set up. Might have let out a little bit more line, but we're trolling two lures again. 
Get a double Walter, double Larry, double Peter. Double Peter, I don't know if I'd like that actually. That'd be. I don't know about that. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Oh man. That sounds like a mess. I don't know if we'll ever get two on at the same time again. I guess I haven't done that whole trick many times, so I'm sure it could happen again. I can't believe I messed that one up too, because like it was right there and I just got excited and I like was doing my stupid thing where I just like pull it out of the water and that got off. But I was so happy to see another one on there. We're gonna have a couple of campsites to choose between. Got one that's in like a back bay. I can see one over there. There's a couple other that seem like they're near a nice drop off, which would be good for walleye at night. Ooh, and there's a hundred foot hole. We'll check it out. We'll see. That one looks nice and open. We'll see what we got. Although it seems like these ones that are near this uh, super deep spot are going to be blasted with wind, which is fine. So far, it hasn't been a problem that wind has been on the site, but if it was like a rain, we do happen to get a nice thunderstorm. Getting blasted with wind and rain is eh, eh, not my preferred thing. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll check them out. We got plenty of time. We still got three hours, 45 minutes. Although for pike and late night walleye, there's a little channel back here. Hmm. hard decision sometimes picking out where you're gonna stay for the night it just oh there's so many good spots you know on second thought whoa Monty shift um, I think I might just stay over at this campsite that I see right here. Just because we do have three hours, 45 minutes of sunlight. It'll take me about a half hour to an hour setting up, getting firewood. Maybe I can get some processed. Then that would give us, uh, let's see, let's say it takes me an hour. Hour 15 will give us, you know, that'll give us two and a half hours of light left. That'd be a good time to set out and go fishing. You know, two hours. Because if I go down there, it'll take me 45 minutes of paddling. Then if I want to come back this way. Oh my gosh, and there's a big old nice down tree right here. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go camp here. And I'm gonna cast near this down tree after I bring in this line because that's a pretty big down tree and that looks real nice. There could be a fish there. Okay. What is that? I've always wondered what that noise is. A bird of some kind or something? Oh, the sun has come out with full force. That is hot. All right, we've got a big old leech on the slip bobber. Big old down tree. I got it set pretty deep. Wow, that sun is hot. There's no way there's not a fish near this thing. It's right on the point off a of big island. I cannot believe how hot the sun feels right now, just compared to the normal. All right, I can't even stand it. It's so hot. We're gonna go to the camp, set up, make some shade. Monty will appreciate finding a nice shady spot to just lay around and be a floof. Hi, big guy. Hi. Hi. 
are you wet? Are you wet? This guy's following me around like a hawk. He, uh, he's a little wet rodent right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you're all wet, my T. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, simmer down. Simmer down. You're so wet. All right, we need to towel dry this guy off quick before we do anything. And then let him air out, and then he needs a brush in. I think you've got enough for the day. You want some of this? You want some of this? Get it, my dude. Yeah, I'm just kidding. All right, come here. All right, let's just get that. Let's just get that dried off, huh? Okay, now we gotta let him air out for a little bit, and then he needs a good towel, uh, brushing. Oh, Monty Ho, Monty Ho, Monty Ho, Monty I set up my slip bobber at camp and I got a fish on it. Oh, I see exactly what that is. That right there is a Walter. Oh, I'm counting them as count as is caught. Awesome. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Got my fish for the day at least. Awesome. I did not think uh, they were going to bite in this hot sun, but I was wrong. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we're going to get this guy on the hook and we're going to let him go. We're not having fish dinner tonight. I'd like to space it out. was a nice little treat catching that there Walter right near camp you know now we don't even got to go out again if we don't want to I mean I'm gonna that's enough fish for one day one that I caught from camp that's, that's right that's fine I can't even joke about that that's not enough we need all the fish that'll be enough so we're going to do the same thing we always do, and that's set up camp. I'm going to do a little multitasking with my old sleeping pads, because why just breathe into the air when you can breathe in the sleeping pad while you're setting stuff up? It just, you know, saves time and breath. But we'll get all tidied up here, and then uh, we'll decide what the heck we're doing next. That's what we're going to do next. I forgot, Monty vindictively popped a sleeping pad. He popped my pad. He vindictively, I feel like he might have actually just went onto my pad, popped it, and then just, just, just to, just to be a turd. It's for all the times you're a jerk to me. That's what you get. And then he was perplexed when he had to sleep on the floor. So let's, I'm going to set up and then we're going to try to repair that pad with some duct tape. I think it was the other one.
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, but it's okay, I got it. You can handle battle, but one of your, one of your teeny little scratches is game over. Okay, so here's the hole. As you can see, it's a nice slice. Um, so I've got these patches I just got. Uh, I threw them in my kit for the first time. I don't know if I should use this or the duct tape. We're gonna try these. They're gear aid patches. They come with like some, it seems like waterproof ones. This seems like it would It'll do. We start on this side. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this bake in the sun so it kinda, you know, gets a little gooey and soft, and then maybe any adhesive will kinda like just settle in better so it's airtight, and then we'll try blowing it up. But I'm gonna give it a minute here. Maybe these will work, this would be great. That's what I kinda got them for, just patches and stuff. Looks like it'll do. That'd be great. Hey, stop it, Monty. Monty, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna hit you this time. I'm not gonna hit you this time. Okay, I just blew it up. <laughs> he started going nuts. He scared me because he was laying down right behind me. I was blowing it up and checking the patch and I was like lifting it up. He just started going crazy. Oh, it seems to be working just fine. Hey, don't lick my legs, you weirdo. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Get away. Get away. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it seems to be working just fine. I guess the only test will be tonight. Oh, wow. I, I think gone are the days of letting Monty just like walk into the tent, at least for this trip, until his nails get trimmed. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna not let him just walk into the tent and do that again, because he loves the nest, so he'll just do it again. Maybe I should use my. No, I don't have the wool. No, we're not risking it. We're gonna. Yeah. All right. So we're pretty much all set up. We're just gonna gather. I'm gonna gather a piece of, stop licking my legs, you creepy tongue. Okay, um, I'm gonna gather a piece of firewood to process and then let's process up some fire before we go fishing. Monty gets a little dramatic when I brush him. It's funny, he'll, uh, he'll let out a few whines and cries when I'm brushing sometimes, because one time I pulled some hair and he didn't like it, but I've seen him, I've been brushing him ever so gently before, he'll just be like, and I'll see Funk doing it and he won't do that. It's because he's learned with me. He seems to be doing fine this time though. Okay, all right. It's the only way we're gonna get you dry and to feel extra floofy, okay, Monty? Let's 
see, if I were you, I would be treating this like spa day. I would just be dozing off, accepting that I'm getting serviced right now. My little servant is doing his best to make sure that I'm comfortable and dry. Okay. Be gentle, being very gentle. I'm only just checking for moisture, okay? Okay, all right, all right, okay. I see you, I see ya. Come on, it's gotta feel nice. Right into booty. All right, lay it back. Look at the size of this bug I just found in your tail, man, in your fur. That was in your butt fur. I mean, look at that. This is what we're dealing with here. Sorry, Monty. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oops, poops. Monty, I can't stop. I'm sorry.
the heck? I've, that's a, we're just gonna burn it like that. It's, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm just looking down here, and I don't see my bobber. It seems like there's some slight tension. Oh, maybe it's way over there. Oh, if it's over there. Uh oh. Oh, I got a snag, I think. I think I got a fish on here, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do we got on here? It's got to be a walleye. It feels too mopey to be anything else. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one, too. Beautiful walleye. I don't think we're gonna go trolling. We might just go cast around for walleye and then fish from camp. Let's get this guy free. I'm starting to have fish release regret. I'm almost thinking two fish dinners in a row wouldn't be a bad thing. I feel like if I catch another walleye, we might have to have another fish dinner tonight. We're about to go out soon. But this means I could definitely just sit here the rest of the night and catch them from camp because they seem to be cruising by this spot. That's two so far. Well, we'll let, we'll let, see we're, this is a unique fish dinner situation because I, I'm, I'm totally cool with waiting till tomorrow. But if it just throws itself at me and it's Walter's, I feel like I gotta take it. So we let two go. We'll we'll see what happens next. My final answer is that no matter what we catch, we are not having fish dinner today. Because um, if I if I have fish dinner today, I've given in to what the fish want. If the fish are throwing themselves at me because they're trying to they're trying to you know mess with my game of doing fish dinner every other day. So if I have it today, I'm just giving in to them and doing what they want, not what I want. And we can't have that. So we probably won't even catch anything else anyways. I'm going to cast for a pike for a minute here. Uh, I got the Mr. Twister. And then uh, I'm going near all these down trees. Then we'll try for uh, some walleye. But before the sun sets or gets too close, I'd like for some pike, because I never had much luck with pike after sunset. I don't know if it's just because that's just how the way things have worked out, or if they're just not a fan of after sunset. I know walleye will bite. They love sunset and dark all night. They're very big fans. Oh, there's a bite. That was definitely not Definitely not a pike. Let's switch to the old slip bobber. I mean, I honestly like fishing for whatever's biting. I'm not too picky on that. I regret taking off my sunglasses at this moment. That's a bright sun. I would appreciate it if you just went behind the trees now. I wish there was bass in here too, because if there's bass, I know I'd be catching fish all along this spot. It's like a perfect little, little drop off this channel. But 
I don't believe there is bass in here. You know what we're gonna try? We're gonna switch to doing a little trolling. I wanted to just cast, and I didn't really feel like trolling, but I also would like to catch a pike or just more fish in general. So we're gonna throw on, let's see what we're gonna use here. What's, what's the magic lure gonna be? Let's go with something a little bit on the bigger side. We're gonna do the, the chartreuse jointed floater. That's what I usually slay walleye with, but I've definitely caught pike on them before too. So, let's throw this guy on here. We're gonna keep the steel eater on. And we're gonna go for a troll. We're hoping for a big old pita pike. Or walleye or lake trout. I mean, anything will be enjoyable to make an appearance. It's always, it's always a lot of fun. I always have lots of fun. Big ol' snag in front of these down trees. That is not good. Very, very not good. Very, very bad. Very bad. Bad, bad, bad. I got it. I got it. Pretty good at getting the snags out. I lose, I lose them every once in a while, but for the most part, I get them back. The key is, as soon as you realize you've got a snag, you stop pulling, and you go on the opposite side and you don't pull until you're completely on the opposite side and then get your tip down low and then just pull. Usually, even sometimes when they feel like they're about to snap, but as long as you're on the opposite side and the, you don't set the uh, hook too deep into like a piece of wood, they usually pop off. They usually do. something oh he had something dang it I was dinking around looking at the woods I wasn't paying attention we definitely had a fish on don't know what it was it's got big old teeth marks. It might have been a pike, but dang it. It was probably a walleye. of Ron Swainson's thrush. All right, we're just gonna take the slip bobber cast near a few down trees, and then we're gonna head back over by camp. There's a few more down trees there, and then we're just gonna spark up a fire, because the sun's about to set. And uh, yeah, I'm hungry. And I would not mind eating a little earlier tonight for once. Just a little bit. Monty's so tired. He had a long day. He just groaned to let me know.
I mean, look at this wilderness out here. Okay, just the one bite on the slip bobber and the one bite on the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit thingy trolley thingy. We are just going to fish from camp. We'll probably catch one or two uh, right from camp, I'm thinking. So, let's just head back and enjoy this nice evening. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, Monty? Oh, I can see camp from here. It's about... 100 feet away. That's real nice. They're just like doing some kind of mating dance or something. The one's like bobbing his head. They, they're, they're like fluttering their wings to each other. Mm, something's going on. Something loony over there. <laughs> la -la -la -loo. La -la -la -loo.
Got another nice walleye right from camp. I'll let this guy go. I'll try to catch another one. I don't see my bobber again. Oh yeah. Ooh, this one feels a little heftier than the other ones. Oh no, it's not. That's number four. Nice little delicious little walleye, but we're gonna let him go. If you wanna ask yourself a silly question, ask yourself, do you think I enjoy catching fish straight from camp with my campfire there and I'm getting water and everything, or not? Pretty silly question. <laughs> It's time to get some food going. Yeah. So for me, I'm gonna have my spaghetti. And since we already caught a fish dinner, we are gonna have a portion plus. I'm gonna add a little, a little extra. A little something, a little something for the kids. There we go. Monty needs some water. Oops. He's gonna want a hot meal. Alright. Okay. I was just reeling it in to check it and I saw the eyes with my headlamp when I cast it on. This guy bit it right away. <laughs> That's number five. All right, guy, be free. See ya. I'm busy catching too many walleye. Let's stop some boil it. Boil it. Okay. Get Monty's ready. I'm sure mine's close to simmering. Not quite. Master Monty deserves a nice feast this evening. Monty, what do you think's on the menu today? Well, mister, what we are serving you is some dry kibble in boiling water with some pumpkin powder. Mmm. Gotta add in the pumpkin powder. Oh, and on top of that, Monty, fish oil and joint supplements. Mmm. Delicious. I bet you've had this meal about a thousand times. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And it's just as good every time, hey? Yeah, you're licking them chompers. I see ya. I see ya, mister. We're gonna add a little bit more kibble. Here, 
You want it right now, huh? It's got to cool, Monty. It's got to, Monty, it's got to cool. Monty. It's got to cool. Yeah. That's going to be a bottle of spaghetti. Now, I'm going to let that sit for a good half hour, and we're going to eat it. <laughs> Get it, Monty. Right here, Monty. Good boy. Whoa. Oh, jeez. This is actually scary. <laughs> I thought he was going to whap me with it. Oh, you're vicious. Jeez. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. Go get the stuff. Don't bark. He's having a conundrum because his food's hot and he's he knows it's over there. But it's still too hot. Come here, Monty. It's too hot. We gotta play stick. You want that? Yeah. Okay. Get him, Monty. He's just like, put the, put the food, Dad. The food is, it's there. Get your stick, Monty. I, I don't want him bouncing around on a full stomach. Monty's brain can't handle like his food's there on the ground, almost ready for him to eat in the like, stick session. Ready, Monty? <coughs> Monty, all right, get, get it, Monty. He's like, no food. I don't want to play, Dad. Okay, all right. I'll put some cold water. <laughs> this is some of the pushiest I've ever seen, Monty. Over here, over here. All right, sit, 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 sit. No, 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 just leave it. I know it's too hot, Monty. Because you're 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 being pushy, and you're not you don't want it to cool properly. So we're just gonna add a little water. You are drooling so much right now; it's insane. I'm not trying to like be a jerk, Monty. I just want it to be as delicious as it can be. Okay. It's gonna be a little extra watery. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Jeez, this guy. I gotta wait quite a while for mine. For my food. Ow. So we're gonna try something that has been suggested to me a long time ago. And then when I recently went with my mom camp and my brother, uh, she wanted to do it, but we forgot the necessary components. And that is roasting a starburst like a marshmallow. I've never done it. I've been told to do it, but my mom wanted to try it. And now is the time. I can't stop farting, so we're gonna roast a marshmallow and I have a little dessert before dinner. I got a stick earlier and I carved it up. So we're gonna put this on the stick here and we're gonna roast it and we're gonna see what it looks like. Let's set these right here. I have a feeling these are gonna be a little tough to get on the stick. Maybe they're a little warm. All right, they're going on pretty pretty good. We're going to do two at once. Because I feel like one would just be a tease. All right, so we're just going to roast this and see what happens. Monty's eating like a wild animal. I'm going to take my jet boil, and I'm going to... Heat up a hot cocoa, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll show you guys the process over here. Okay, I don't have one on. I don't have a fish on. Check my bottle, but I can see one's eyes right there. If I can get this in. Come on. Where'd he 
go. Dang it. There's one right here. There he is. There he is. You can see their eyes reflecting. I want to put this. Oh, there's, there's two going after it. Oh, we're about to get a walleye right here. That's number six for the night. <laughs> That's awesome. This is like the best I've ever done out here for walleye fishing. <laughs> this is so great. I'm having such a good time. Let's let this guy go. I was just getting cleaned up. But look at the size of this leech in the lake. Honestly, just doing like I thought it would. It's just kind of melting. Oh, it's dripping. Oh no. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, that looks pretty done. I mean, I don't know if I did it right, but it's delicious. Um, it is a warm, gooey Starburst, but am I going to take the time to do that or just shovel 15 in my mouth at once? <laughs> Probably going to shovel them in my mouth. I'll warm them up with my mouth. It does make me want more Starburst right now though. That's bad. This is my bag of like snacks. I got some nuts, some trail mix. Uh, Funk does this thing with a trail mix that I just absolutely love now is put in peanut M&Ms. Um, the ones with actual peanuts in there, it's so good. Mm. Oh, Starburst so good. Mm. Oh, just came to check it again. I see one's eyes. And he stopped. Why did he stop? I dropped it right out of him. Oh, there's another one. There we go. <laughs> yes. Number seven. 
Oh, and this one's chasing him. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Number seven. Let them go. See ya. All right. <laughs> This is so much fun. I can't tell if this is the one I just caught or that other one that was chasing the other one. Let's see, because he went right here. No, that's the one I just caught. He just saw my thing and just like turned around and went the other way. This is as bad as spaghetti. Yes. Mm. Actually, let it cool down enough this time. So, it's absolutely clear skies out. Um, so I'm gonna shut this light. Uh, we'll see if the we'll let it record for a minute. See if the, the glow of the fire does anything. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to uh, watch the stars because it's just completely clear skies. The stars are all like crazy. The moon's out too, but I can still see the stars. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. What if you're just trying to call back to that bird? Okay, Monty. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Monty, come in. Come here. Come on, T, come on. All right, lay down. Already making me nervous. No, no, no! Jeez, he just scraped again. Monty, I just lay down without scraping. Oh, thank you. Oh, my heart jumped. I thought he was gonna do it again.
I am so full. I, uh, ate all that spaghetti, and then I took my jet boil and I made a double batch of hot cocoa. I've been struggling for a good half hour now. Oh, it's later than I thought. I thought, I thought I was going to be getting to bed early and, like, get up early, but it's, like, almost one in the morning already. Dang it. Anyways, I'm going to pass out now. This is uncomfortable to hold my head up like this, so. Okay, guys, in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good <laughs> morning. Where's Mochi? Where's he? Where's Lucy? Where's he? What? Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi. You want it? Can I say hello? Hi. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, hi. Oh, you big fuzzy turd. You requested to be let out like an hour or two ago. I couldn't tell him no because it's his trip and he'll do what he wants. Oh, that's a nice spot, Monty. Anyways, I slept pretty good last night. Um. Seems like it's another nice hot day gonna be in the mixin', so we gotta get it. protect the skin from the sun again. So it's time to get up. Let's do it. Teddy bear. Hi. Hi, don't your butt. You got all this crap in it. Come here, big guy. Oh, I rub 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 Oh, hi. Stink for me to throw it. Do you know me to throw it, you Mr. Stink? Come on. Give me the stick. Give, give, it, give it. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Come on. Come on. Monty, bring it here. Hey, ow, jeez. What a, what a weirdo. Anyways, alright. We've got potentially nine porridges today. 
So we've got to make some moves and get uh, cruising. So what we're going to do is kick up our coffee and oatmeal cue sequence thing and uh, get packing up here and get on that water quickly. So let's do it. Super It's so hot. What a stinker. It's just so dang hot already. It's even hotter than yesterday. This is going to be a rough one today. I just wanted him to cool off quick. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, it's too hot. Mmm. You're gonna be a wet doggy today, Monty. Oh man, is it hot? I think I might need to swim before we go. I wish it would just be cloudy today. Oh. Uh, cloudy and 50. All right, I am going to finish up my coffee and oatmeal here. It's a little too hot and the sun's just making it hotter, so I'm gonna put it near the water's edge and let it, the wind kind of cool it. And then we're gonna pack up and get moving. I don't know if I'm gonna swim. We'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling when we're ready to go. I might need to jump in. Oh. Oh. All right, Captain Big Butt, go ahead, go ahead. gonna tip. Uh, rough. What does that meant to say? There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, it is a hot one. Whoo-wee! It's uh, slightly hazy and slightly cloudy and it's still just super hot and muggy so 
Uh, I think if the uh, sky is clear up completely, we're gonna be in for some cooking. We're gonna be like bratwurst on a hot fire. Burning, burning and juicing. Yeah. Now I'd like to get, we, we've got a lot on the plate today. Uh, we got nine portages planned. I don't know if we're gonna do them all, we'll see. We're gonna see how we're feeling, how far we get. Um, we also would like to do a fish dinner today. So that's on top of that, we've got to catch some fish and do all these portages. Now these portages aren't crazy, they're like quarter mile or less. Some of them are either in like a 16th of a mile. Not crazy, but it's not always about how long the portage is. It's sometimes just like getting in and out of your boat and just that just takes up time. It sure does. So we'll see, I think we can do them today. It just depends on how much fishing I want to do along the way. If we don't do much fishing, we're probably gonna be fine. But if we want to catch some fishies along the way, then that is going to take up some of our time. I didn't end up swimming because I, uh, I ended up finding a way to pack my muck boots in my bag, my big dry bag. It's kind of a pain uh, getting the bag in the boat now because like, normally I make the top narrow so I can just shove it right in the boat real easy. But those muck boots up in the top <laughs> made it so it was a little awkward. I'm gonna have to repack it another day, but I kind of don't feel like just baking right off the start for our first few portages. We're gonna see how how it goes in the ankle, or uh, we'll see how it goes in the Crocs. You know, I'll probably end up rolling my ankle, and then we'll just have to <laughs> sit somewhere for the rest of the trip. We got the chartreuse slayer. We got to throw it on here and cut the dry line. And what the hell we got fish. How's the fishing? Oh yeah, I forgot. La 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 He went, oh. Which means, okay. Fishing's okay. All right, thanks loons. Sweet, sweet cloud coverage. Yes. Let's do this the whole day, please. Now don't don't think I just hate the sun. I love the sun. But the sun and heat while having to do a bunch of work? Come on. No. No 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 no. No 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 no. I want it. I want it 40 to 50 degrees and cloudy. If I'm gonna do a bunch of work. That's what I want it to be. That way you can wear some layers and you know you can move and you're not just sweltering. Um, you know, I'm a little fried from yesterday. You can't really tell, well, maybe you can. I'm, I'm not sure what the camera's good at picking up, but it can't pick up rain very well, but uh, or snow. But I'm sure it can pick up sunburn. Anyways, yeah, uh, I will take this. Even if it rains a bit, um, if it starts to thunderstorm or rain too hard, oh, speaking of the devil, there's a sound back. Uh, we'll probably just not make it as far, which is totally fine. As long as I'm not cooking all day, I'm gonna be happy and content. I mean, even if the sun's full bore and it was blue skies all day, we'd still make it in blue skies. But luckily, the weather's been on our side so far this trip, and we've got cloud coverage. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. So yeah, we're not gonna fish a ton of these smaller lakes. Uh, some of them, 
like I said, the portages aren't crazy today. Uh, now that I've, like I said before, we were in like a corner of maps, and I only I only remember glancing at the maps. Um, a lot of these are even under an eighth of a mile. There's only like two that are quarter mile. The next one's like eighth of a mile. And the one after that is a little bit above a quarter mile, and that one we're actually gonna have to do a bunch of incline. So that'll be the worst one of the day by far. The rest of them seem to be going like downhill. Most portages you have to go up to get on the ridge and down, regardless of if you're going up or down in elevation, because all these all these lakes are rock bowls. So you gotta get out of the bowl first, and then maybe you go up higher to the next bowl. It's always a little a little hill no matter which way you go. You always gotta go up and then go down. The fav my favorite portages are the ones where you go up and then you go down, and then you go back up, and then you go back down, and then you go back up, and then you go back down, and then you go up, around, back down, up, down. Those ones are a lot of fun. Those are just my favorite. It's like climbing stairs, going downstairs. Climbing stairs again, going downstairs. Oh, this portage is right here. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, here's an example of those short and sweet, fun little portages. You're pretty much going <laughs> as much up as you are forward. It's like the same distance. They, they're they not super far, but uh, yeah, they're fun. Okay. Okay, mine to you first. cloudy come on just for just for the, pe the portage portion of the trip or the day this lake is crystal clear I would like to drop a line it's just I can see the bottom and I do not wish to get a snag yeah looks deep enough let's why not why? I mean what what's the damage that's gonna happen we could lose a we could lose a lure we could get behind, we could get caught in some nasty weather. I mean, there's there's a few a few things that could happen, but probably won't. Losing the lure, that's definite high chance. Ah, ah. We gotta take a few casts with the slip bobber and the leech because this is just too pristine of a lake to not have some nice fish. We're gonna take a few. There's a few nice down trees. I'd hate myself in the morning if I didn't. No. Oh my. That feels like a panfish. I'm getting little nibbles. 
the portage is up ahead, so we've got a few down trees. We'll just work this drop off. All right, if there's gonna be a fish in this lake, it's gonna be near this monster down tree right here. If, there's, if we don't get a fish here, we're moving on. No, no. Poop. Wolf poop. It puts the lotion on the skin or else it will get burnt again. Okay, so we are on the highest elevation lake of the entire trip. It should all be downhill from here, which of course that means, you know, up and down still. But I should now touch water and then touch my paddle slick but yeah we are on definitely the highest that last portage it wasn't it was twice as much climb as the previous one but it was over like three times the distance so i realized that i like i prefer uh, what am i trying to say here low intensity over a longer period than i do the high intensity but we might as well troll a line quick. Oh, Monty, stop that. No, Monty, don't. You gross creature. Stop it. Monty, no. No. Leave it. Don't lick my sunscreen. He just loves lotion. I, uh, You know, I've got psoriasis, obviously. Uh, so I put on lotion when I go to bed. And my hand lotion, he just like looks like a crazed animal. He's like, blah, 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 blah. when I put it on, he's just like he wants to eat it. I don't know why he likes to eat lotion. I've never fed him lotion ever. And he just like is obsessed with it. Maybe it's because I've never given it to him. He's just like, I want that. I saw that turtle. He just was not, he was so fast, he wouldn't let me get close. <laughs> Some turtles, you know, they're like, ah, I don't care. They're like, you'll get close to them and they kind of uh, move away. And there's other turtles that are just like, no. Nah. They won't even let you get remotely close. And they just like see it and they just like cruise. And he was so quick, I just couldn't get close. Every time he saw me, he'd just go the other way and the, the wind was blowing me. Dang turtles, chasing turtles. big rock up there on that hill propped up by that little rock like it's a little table almost like someone put it there it's got two little rocks that are making it like level <laughs> that's cool Probably be pretty hard to tell from here but uh, let's see on the camera right right there is a line on the left of where my paddle is uh, is the normal forest and then everything to the right was in the burn you can see how it's all super young and green lush looking because it's all super young it's all really young trees there's definitely a fire here at some point I don't know how long it would have been ago maybe 10, 20 years ago, I'm not sure. I ain't no fire expert. That's Mr. Jake Ski Guy, not me. I just know that it there was a fire, that's all I got. At some point in the last 40 years, probably sooner.
No, we'll say we'll say 20 years. I'll give it a solid 16 years. 16 years ago, there was a fire here. Final answer. I was just saying, I wonder what's in this lake. And I saw it. I saw what is in this lake. I know for a fact what is in this lake now. Bobbies. It's a bobby lake. I think we can catch one quick, maybe. See, when I know there's bass in the lake, then my whole down tree thing usually works pretty good. So they'll definitely like to hang out in the shade of a tree. And then, uh, wait for something to come by. Part of me would like to just fish this lake for a little bit. It's just so dang hot in the sun. Oh my gosh, the sun is just insanely hot right now. Those are vultures. You see them, Monty? Vultures be vulching. All right, we gotta get out of the sun. As much as I'd like to catch fish. We got to, we got to move along. I'm gonna need to put on a shirt, I think. The sunscreen isn't cutting it. I am just cooking right now. Go. Go. Oh my gosh, I just uh, dunked my shirt, wrung it out and put it on and it feels so good. It was like putting just like cooling gel on your burns. Oh my gosh. I might need to bust out my long sleeve shirt. I've got this identical shirt and it's long sleeve and it's pretty much uh, a backup sunscreen shirt. So if I run out of sunscreen, or if it's like today and the, the sun's just burning me, no matter what I do, I'll pull that guy out. So far it feels the worst on my, it felt bad on my shoulders. I put a lot of sunscreen there too and that was not very long ago, within the last hour. And I'm still just getting cooked. Maybe the sunscreen's bad, I don't know. I've got a lot of older stuff, but uh, yeah. Either way, it is a hot one. It's nasty. It's very nasty. So we've got one more just over quarter mile portage to do, and then we're on a big old lake, and we're gonna reassess. I think we're still gonna keep pushing through. Uh, we're making decent time. But yeah, we, we can pick any of the lakes, um, even this lake. There's campsites on every single lake and bunches of them, so. We can really stay wherever we feel like it. But we shall see what we are feeling like doing today.
Bati. He's so stinky. He smells like poo poo. He smells like pee pee. He's so darn stinky in the sun. He's got these teeny, teeny eyes. They cannot see anything and it's no surprise because they're so dang small. They, how do they even see? When you see the trees. I just can't help it. There's too many down trees in a row. I have to take a few casts. I just have to. I mean, there is just, it just, I want to keep moving, but at the same time, like, I just cannot not cast it. There's just too many of them. There's got to be a fish here. The last lake had bobbies. I saw them with my own eyes. I seen them. So this lake, there's a high chance I'm thinking it's also got them. Oh. I got a fish. It's the teeniest, tiniest little bobby in the world. <laughs> All right there, Bobby Jr. All right, I'm gonna let you free. I mean, we gotta do a fish release cam with this monster. I'm Matt Posen, where there's down trees, there's fish. And where there's fish, you'll catch them. I can't believe I did that on the first take. I'm I'm Matt. I I'm Matt. I'm Matt posing. If I'm Matt. Posa. Posa. The down tree. Down tree. There's fish. Down trees. There's fish. There's fish. There's fish. There's fish. Where there's fish, you'll catch them. 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 Oh, dang it. No. <laughs> All right. Nice little Bobby Jr. Let's let him go. Monty just chased something off the trail. Monty, what was it? And he was barking like crazy. I don't know what it could have been. I don't think it was a moose. It could have been a moose. I just, I feel like I would have heard it or seen it. But uh, the only other thing I could think it would be is a deer or a wolf. Which if it was a wolf, that was, that'd be scary. Because they could definitely mess Monty up. Oh, poop. Moose poop. Anyways, something. He definitely saw an animal, and it was a good sized animal. It's gotta be a toad orgy somewhere. All right, we got our first few sprinkles of rain for the day. Uh, we just ate a bunch of snacks. I offered Monty his food. He didn't want nothing to do with it, but he was all over the beef jerky, the uh, cheese, uh, some granola, and he thought he was going to be going for the uh, habanero BBQ almonds until he smelled them. But uh, for those of you that are like hearing me say toad orgy and you're just like, what is he? Is he just being funny? Like, no, I mean toad orgy that sprouts millions upon millions of little babies and that's how toads do their thing but i think we're just too early or too late because this is all the right habitat and there was that one toad there but um yeah it's, it's one or the other it's too early or too late i don't really know because i've only caught it that one time 
but you know what's going on when you hear that noise in the middle of the day going all day. I've been hearing it at night, so that's leading me to believe that it might be too late because maybe the water's a little too warm so they're only doing it at night. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Or it's too early and they just, I don't know. I just don't really know. I am not a toad orgy expert. Fill up my Nalgene with my electrolytes. I already put the powder in here. Looks like we could get some weather. As long as that sun's away, we've been dealing with the sun the whole day. It was cloudy for a bit there. And then it's just been sunny and hot on these portages. I feel like I'm getting fried. So, um, as far as this goes, the old electrolyte powder, do I enjoy it? Do I like it? Is this something I'm gonna continue to do? And that is a resounding yes. It is great. It's getting me to uh, drink a full Nalgene in the middle of the day. Cause I'm pretty bad with water sometimes. Like I'll just, uh, I'll get pretty thirsty and then I'll just take this thing out and I'll take some sips. But it's just not enough. I should be doing two of these a day, or I should be doing more like four of these a day. <laughs> but one's better than none. I mean, I was taking, let's see, on most of my days, how many sips do you get? You get about, so five pumps of this, I would say five or six pumps two times a day, which is not much. As you can see, it's taking me like 40 pumps to fill this Nalgene. So that means I was drinking, I don't know, a quarter of this Nalgene through a whole day. I know that's bad. I know it is bad. Drink more water. Water's good. It's better than snacks. But this is helping. And I think I'm going to next time bring double so that I can drink two of these a day. Maybe one day I'll even get crazy enough to drink three of these a day and be, be uh, drinking how much water I'm supposed to be drinking. Just excited. Get excited. Oh yeah. It's looking cloudy now. All right. Mm. Oh. Fresh wilderness lake water propel. Mm. Mm. Oh, I think we're just gonna have to drop a line and do some trolling. This is a big, nice lake. Looking a little stormy up ahead. I think that's blowing this way. <laughs> we might have some fun here. If it gets too crazy, we're gonna have to just pick a campsite. Hopefully, I'd like a little craziness. Not just this hot heat. Let's get some. Let's get some rains and storm. Come on. Come, Mother Nature. Don't don't uh, strike me down, but like spank me around a little bit, okay? Don't. Just don't strike me down, but spank me, okay? <laughs> oh, it's just a nice to have a little break from that hot sun. Oh, that's another little hydration trip tip I'd like to give you. You'll notice I still got my water bottle and I haven't just chugged it down. Uh, to, for proper hydration, you don't want to just chug water. You want to take little sips. Sips are better. You sip it and your body processes it a lot better than uh, if you just, you know, kind of like eating. If you eat little meals throughout the day rather than just stuff your face in right before you go to bed, it's better for your body. <laughs> I probably shouldn't give any advice about any consumption of anything. Uh, 
but you take it or you leave it, whatever. It's better to sip on water than just chug it. You end up peeing most of it out if you just chug water. Monty always shows how good of a boat dog it really is. He's just passed out back there. He got splashed a couple times in the face with water because we're taking waves at our side. And it is a bigger lake and it is pretty breezy. They're not huge waves though, luckily. But either way, he just sits down, lays there, doesn't move as we rock around. We've been in situations like this where it's been just pouring rain for a minute and uh, in a bad situation, he just lays there. He knows what's up. He usually doesn't move around if it's if it's uh, hippier weather or in the bigger parts of a lake. He just hangs out. Oh, she's getting a bit breezy now. Just had a couple of nice old waves take us for a little rocking. Hey, Monty, oh yeah, you didn't, you didn't change positions. You don't mind. Dang it, I was just reeling it in. Uh, my my lure at the end of the lake here and I just had a fish on I just it just like hit it on the way in Dang it. It was it was right there Didn't stay hooked though poop poop Ready Monty Get it Monty Old beaver Monty Monty Phelps I threw him three sticks the third one is the one he's taking. Well, he's gonna grab that one because it's right there. Yeah, I see how he works. Go boy, Monty. You're the best. He's got battle scars from all the mosquitoes you've been dealing with, Monty. All right, so we've got four hours and 45 minutes of light remaining for the day. We have got three more portages. So hopefully we can get to our lake for the evening with at least an hour and a half to two hours of light. We'll see. They're not very big portages, uh, not very big paddles. So we're gonna push on through not do any fishing hopefully there's no hiccups and uh, yeah we'll get to our lake I'm not sure if I'm gonna be trying for a fish dinner tonight or not um, I was thinking about it and I was like you know we're gonna be getting there pretty late if we even catch anything and will I feel like playing fish I don't know you know only time will tell I won't be upset if I don't have fish dinner let's just put it that way I will not be upset I want at least two this trip I pushed it up to three and I was like, ah, we can have three, but also two would keep it more like savory. You know, three, you have three fish dinners, then you get used to it, like the spaghetti. You have two, then you're really looking forward to them. I'm not even gonna bother trying to put my hat back on. It's getting too breezy for it. Boy. 
Oh, heaven to the Here's some wounds. Passing up these beautiful spots for fishing. <sighs> mm. But this is not the trip we fish here. It's just not in the cards right now. I mean, I could, I could, but I'd rather get to the bigger lake and have a little more time to fish there. You know, so it's, it, there's so many fish in the lake we're trying to get to tonight. There's big old Peters, Walters. Larry's, Bobby's, and there's other stuff too. They're in there. There's suckers. I know there's suckers. It's gotta be suckers. One more for the day. There was a uh, a, a rough grouse partridge right off the trail there and I couldn't record it uh, doing its thing. It's drumming. I, I can never catch it. But I just did it again right as we're getting in the boat. But if you ever hear that, you're in the woods and you hear a That's a partridge or a rough grouse drumming. They're waiting for you like I used to think back in the day, I just remember I, I used to think it was like a a lawnmower starting. I was like, what the heck is that noise? And I used to hear it all the time and just like never know what it was until uh, I think maybe my brother showed me a video of what it was just randomly. And I was like, what? That's what that is? I used to think it was people like I used to think it was just like an engine starting for the longest time. Now I know it is just a bird flapping its dang wings. We might as well troll. We've only got one more porch for the day. Only one more. It's it's cloudy. It's looking like, I mean, it's been looking for a while like a thunderstorm. Haven't heard a single rumble of thunder. A couple drops of rain at one point. Uh, no, no lightning. Nothing. I mean, I don't, I don't get how... I mean, I just don't see how you get all this super hot heat and humidity, and then you got skies like that, and there's no rain, there's no thunder, there's no lightning. I mean, what the heck? Oh well. I suppose I don't mind too much, as long as it comes. I would, I, I would be so sad if I don't get a single rumble of thunder this whole trip.
Bye. We just got to the lake. That's thunder. <laughs> so after hearing that, a wise man would go hurry to a campsite right away. So we're probably gonna do a little bit of fishing. There's uh, lots of campsites on this lake because it's a big lake. So I gotta take a few casts, unless it starts to just get crazy, or we see lightning. Lightning is a, no. If I hear just rumbling thunder, like, okay. But if I see lightning, uh-uh. I don't mess around with lightning. Although that thunder did sound like it was coming right, right, right as the, the way the clouds are coming our way. Problem is, the fishing's always really good right before like a thunderstorm. When it's just rumbling like this. It is pretty breezy out in the middle, so trolling is gonna be tough. And I'm not gonna start trolling until I can kinda see what's going on here. Cause right now we're still near shore. We can hide if need be. So far it seems fine. No fish though. I mean, what the heck is that all about? Um, there is just nothing more delightful than uh, getting sunburned and then taking a 70 pound bag and just putting it on and off your, taking it on and off your, your shoulders. Mm. Yeah, my skin still feels so hot. Okay, fine. We'll troll our way to a campsite. Okay, at some point in my fishing career, uh, I don't really remember when, but I got this whoa, oversized, huge, super bright orange tail dancer, 30 foot deep diver. I thought it'd be a great idea and I've never used it. It just been sitting in this packaging and I was like, you know what? the trick. So we're going to get on this super windy open channel, like real geniuses with this thunder rolling in, and we're going to, oh jeez, set this line and troll this lure for the first time. Probably not catch anything but a snag, maybe lose it in five minutes, and then even if I get a fish, what the heck am I going to do in this freaking wind? Huh? Huh? What the heck am I going to do? All right. This seems like it's 30 feet. Let's just, let's just, let's just go for gold. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. The worst that can happen is we lose the lure. Oh. <laughs> Look at this Monty back here. We've been in the boat for just a few minutes and he's already just... <laughs> what a precious creature.
rain starting. And it looks like it gets a little bit more white looking <laughs> up ahead. Uh-oh. All right. It's rain gear time. Ah! Ah! Oh, jeez. Monty. No. I knew it was going to happen. Come on. Come on, you stupid lure. You're too dang big. Ah. Come on. Just get. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a big lure. Okay. Ah. Ah. Yeah. for you, buddy. And there he goes. He just lays right back down. All right, my turn. Uh. Of course, it's stopping. Well, what the heck, Monty? I thought it was going to go crazy. put this stuff on in the boat. Oh, we're gonna see a little bit more rainy here. Might as well put these on. I mean, what the heck. This is, this is not going to... Oh. Oh. We did it. We got right here. I'm an adult. the rain come Crack of thunder. We're gonna scoot towards shore now. I just saw a big bolt of lightning up ahead. So we're gonna probably. Hey, there's some loons. Check out the loons. They're, they're not afraid. Yeah, so I think we're gonna... If, if, there might be a full plate up right here. I switched my maps out. This might be one. is we should probably stay here because of the lightning. Oh, 
I don't really like this campsite. It is very exposed. But that was a big crack of lightning. And it is pretty breezy. Hmm. It's lightening up now, but that still looks like a, a line of... Ah! Well, we'll probably just stay here. Let's just check it out. Yeah, another big bolt right there. We're gonna stay here. Oh, this will be fine. I got protection from the crazy winds right here with these little trees. This should do. Probably won't be having a fire today, but uh, yeah, we're gonna need to set up a tarp here yeah, let's, let's set some stuff up. Monty needs a warm, dry space. This is like, I don't know, I think we might stay right here. It's right on the edge, like if you take a couple steps this way, right on the tip of this point, and all this super wind, but these cedars are thick. It's like a perfect little, look, it's even dry right here because of how thick it is. This is like a great natural protection. Part of me wants to set up right here. Hmm. It's a little small because I want to put the tarp and the tent here. The tent will fit here if I really want to, but the tarp would be tough to fit them both. <laughs> it's pouring. Come on, Monty. I'm going to show you this spot. You're going to love it, Monty. It's dry and it's out of the wind. Right here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Yeah. Here, I'll even take this off you. Just sit right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, just lay down right there, Monty. Trust me, if you come out here, you're not going to want to... Yeah, see, it's, it's crazy out here. Oh, it's about to downpour. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's getting crazy right now. Whew! Oh, yeah, it's lightning. All right, we need to get... Yeah, I gotta get a tarp set up. Okay. No more dinking around now, I guess. <laughs> Monty, you stay there, okay? I'll get us a spot. We'll probably end up staying here. All right, you stay there. I'll be back. <laughs> stay safe. Monty, you're a champion. 
You know that, buddy? You're such a good boy. See, this, this is the safest spot I can find. Right nestled in. I'll just be here until you figure things out. So it stopped raining. Um, I was I'm, I was looking at that spot that I was about to set up, but there's just like there's too much wind coming through the trees, so I can get the tarp set up. It's just we'll still get rain pushing from the sides. So I'm gonna set up a little somewhere else. The craziness has stopped for a minute. It looks like it's about to start again in a little bit, so I'm gonna yeah. It just stopped. Hasn't been much time since we got to camp, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly get out the tent. We're gonna set it up in this green grass. I'm just gonna put the back and do a lean to that way, and then uh, it should do the trick. Actually, it's just kind of open, so with this wind, it's just gonna. It's. I should probably go up in these trees. It's just too much dinking around going on. Now, if I make a tight enough ridge line, this will work. All right, final answer. That's what we're doing. Let's get it done. You look as though you require assistance. <laughs> Monty, you poor thing. How are you ever going to survive out here by yourself, huh? I know. Crazy. best thing in the world but it'll stay dry in this wind <laughs> see if I can pull this out a little bit more it needs to be pulled up a little low riding but I mean if the wind's driving and the rain's driving hard we'll at least be fine I can set up the tent like right here so we'll have it, it'll, it'll be fine, it's gonna work. Hey Monty, hi, come here. Look at the space I have provided for you. You are a wet, stinky doggy. Yeah, you are. You are very wet doggy because you didn't make your pancho. I didn't call him over, he just, he saw that this was like getting ready. Okay. It's gonna do for now. We're gonna set up some more stuff. Oh. Oh, fairly dry. Oh. Now that we got this set up, I'm gonna 
taking my time. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm not doing fish dinner tonight. Uh, it's too windy for me to want to go back out there and troll. And with the uh, rain on the horizon, holy crap, I just took this off and my skin feels hot. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera's like picking up a ton of the wind noise, but if this tarp was not here, you'd be getting a lot of the wind noise. Uh, but I'm probably going to set up the tent right where the uh, camera's sitting right now. Yeah, that's, or kind of like, yes, somewhere right here. Anyways, since I'm uh, in no rush, I'm going to just take my time here. Might you have a snack? Oh, my skin feels so hot. Oh, I definitely got a little burnt. I was hoping to get some good fishing on this lake, but... You know, I, I, as, 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 uh, as crazy as that rain was there for a minute, I still wish it was going on the same full strength because it's always, I don't know, I love dealing with that intense, heavy rain and setting up in that. Now I get to be lazy because it's, it's not raining anymore, so I'm in no rush. If it starts to pick up again, you know, I'll jump right back into it, but I, maybe that's why I'm just sitting here right now. Maybe I'm kind of hoping that it does that. <laughs> But, yeah, we've got a good uh, wind block right here. Oh, now that I'm sitting in this chair. This just makes me want to uh, sit here. <laughs> this is just relaxing right now. I do hope it rains more though. Anyways, all right. You don't need to see it. I, it's until the weather changes. I'm just gonna set up the tent right here. Uh, yeah. So we'll check back in with you guys in a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this done lickety split. We're just gonna get it out of the way. Okay. Okay. All right. Things have kind of calmed down. I mean, it's still breezy out there. Um, I don't think I'm getting back in my boat and doing any fishing that way. But I am going to fish off this point and all along the shore here. Because this is a nice drop off. And I mean, this is a, a nice rocky point, And there is just tons and tons of crawfish shells. So they, there's some birds gathering crawfish off these rocks here. where And where there's crawfish, there's fish. And where there's fish you'll catch them so there's gonna be some fish off here and I mean the fish aren't afraid of this weather we didn't get any crazy thunderstorms or lightning so I bet the fishing's actually pretty good if I can get my line you know we'll probably cast a spoon that'd probably be our best bet for most things but I'll try the slip bobber and a leech we're just gonna finish getting set up here we just gotta I'm just filtering water and then uh, once I'm all set up Let's do some fishing. We've got an hour and 10 minutes of light left and we're not having to fire anything. 
We're just going to cook spaghetti under the tarp here and relax. So I just need to just get everything all figured out. Towel dryer mounty a little bit. And then, uh, yeah. We can do some fishing. We got our fish for the day. We still need a Peter, but those fish were teeny. They still count. Right, Monty? 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 You want a little? You want a little? You want a little, uh, you want a little, uh, a little of this? Does this look good to ya? you? You, you like this? Oh yeah, you do, you fuzzy critter. You like, you like getting dry. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. There's no way we're getting them fully dry tonight. It's just not warm enough. It's too damp out. But we can try. We can get them close. Oh. We'll get them a little dry. We'll get you a little dry, Monty. Go back up. Right. Let's eat that booty. Get that booty. No more? Monty. 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 Look. Want some more of this? One more? Come here. Come here. One more of this? Come here, Monty. It's a good one. No, it's pretty ridiculous. I'm going to try a few spots with the slip bobber and a leech, and then I'll probably toss a spoon. And if you're wondering why don't I just throw out my slip bobber and cast a spoon at the same time, because you're only allowed to have one line in the water at any time. Otherwise, I'd be trolling two lines this entire time. Double my chances, but you're only allowed one, so one is all I shall do. I can't tell if it's raining or if it's the wind on my bird skin. I think it's just the wind on my bird skin. Come on, Monty. Come over here, Monty. Come here, Monty.
Okay, well, uh, we are just going to do some relaxing. I didn't get any bites. I, you know, casted my thingy and then uh, did the other thingy and then went back to the other thingy and didn't get a single bite. And it's calming down. I could probably catch a fish, but I'm good. After last night's seven walleye, that was a pretty good little record out here. I've never caught that many in a single single day or evening, let alone the same spot. That was a pretty good little streak there. Um, so I'm good not having a fish dinner and just hanging out. So I've got everything I need right here. We're just going to relax. I could go sit over there, but uh, I'm cool just sitting under the tarp out of the wind and just kind of relaxing, you know? This is, I'm going to do whatever I feel like doing. I feel like just chilling under the tarp right here. Got the old Monty on a sleeping pad. Well, his backup sleeping pad. Um, we're gonna just make some spaghetti. I've got a couple of books. I've got my, I've got a very naughty book. I brought out my naughty book. I love to read my naughty book when I'm out in the woods by myself. It's everything not. <laughs> Get it, naughty? Ha ha ha. Yeah, got one of those, and then I've got a bushcraft book. I've been reading through. I like to. I got a couple of these. I'll glance through these, you know, learn a bunch of knots that I'll forget, and then just go back to the same old ones I always use, you know. So, yeah, we're just going to, let's just make some food and kill some mosquitoes. Monty, you hungry, buddy? You hungry, buddy? I offer him his food in the middle of the day, and he 100% refuses it. I, but he definitely gets fed little captain's wafers and some... Some combos here and there, beef jerky, cheese, all the stuff that he should probably not be eating. But he definitely gets snacks. Because he's a stinker. Because he's a stinker. Stinky, stinky, stinker, stinker. He's a stinky, stinky, stinker, stinker. Mom, to your little bitty stinker. The mice have done a number to his bowls here. See, when I leave out his food and he doesn't eat it right away, the little mice will come along at camp sometimes and they'll they'll chew through the little sides of his bowl here. And now this one was the good one that didn't have any mice holes. But they got it. It'll hold some water though. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead.
You can't even see me, can you? The thing's doing nothing. Oh, that works enough. It's starting to rain a little bit. I don't want my camera getting wet, so it's sitting under the vestibule and the tarp. Oh. The mosquitoes are definitely out. Not crazy, but they're definitely getting a few on Monty's nose. About me, I've got long sleeves, so it doesn't really matter. Nice cup of hot cocoa. Let's see if I'm ready for this sketty. I think I'm ready for this sketty. I would think I'm ready for this sketty. Oh, it looks pretty dang hot. I mean, how? It's been sitting for like 45 minutes. I swear. Maybe even longer. Maybe I should probably take the lid off next time while I let it sit that long. Because that looks like it's just... Mm. It's hot, but... So I was just glancing over my maps, and we've got a choice to make. So, we can either hang out on this lake again tomorrow, spend the day fishing, and just staying in this area, and then we'd have to move a little bit the next day. Let's see, we've got three nights after tonight, so if I spend tomorrow night here, we'd have two more nights. So that'd be one, two. Okay. Yeah, it's just a tough decision because I know the fishing's good here. I think what we're going to end up doing is just, we can mosey on this lake. If we mosey and we fish, we've got one, two, three, four, five portages. Then we'll be at a lake. We can just do da ba da ba da. There's gonna be a lot of so the the, the the rest of the lake trout is gonna be this lake. This is the last Larry Lake. We've already caught our Larry, we already had we've already had our delicious Larry dinner. Um so, I, is that another June bug in May? It's gotta be, it sounds like a hell of a, oh, watch it, watch the water. Oh, that's such a good boy. Monty's pooped, he had a long day. Yes, he did. Monty would be tired just waking up, going outside, taking a poop, and going back to bed. That'd be that'd be a day's work for him. So when he does this extra stuff, there's a real Monty. Monty, oh, he's an adaptable doggy. He will sit around all day doing nothing, or he'll go adventuring. Big old poof ball. That's what he is. He's going to be shedding like crazy after this trip. He sure is. So yeah, we've just got options to, of what to do tomorrow. Like, I think we're just gonna focus on fishing and just keep moving. But uh, yeah, you know, if I don't catch a lot of fish, I'm gonna keep moving. That's how, that's that's just in my nature. If I start catching a lot of sweet big old fish. I'm going to be sticking around. I'd like to catch a nice big old pike. I know it's Sam. I need to catch one. But I want a big one. 
been a long time since I caught a big pike. This June bug is going to fly right near Monty's ears. And he's going to be freaked out by it. Monty didn't even react. Monty, that was that was a disappointment. I thought you were gonna like chomp at him like you do with other flies. There's an earthworm messing with Monty's paw. I've never seen something struggle so hard as watching this June bug try to clop, try to climb to the top of pieces of grass to fly away. Because every single time. Oh no, oops, in. Here he goes again. He's gonna crawl up some grass. Try to get to the top of it and it just won't work again. Oh, he found my mat. Dude is struggling. <laughs> now I'm on just And now Monty's like, what the heck was that? <laughs> Fulfill your destiny, little guy. Do it. Don't get on my hands. Don't. Don't. Alright. Again. You're just. Whatever your purpose is, it's not going to be fulfilled, I don't think. <laughs> Why is it so funny to watch him try to <laughs> crawl up grass and just can't do it? I tried to help him. <laughs> Here he goes again watching. He's gonna crawl this. <laughs> There's another one. Do it again. Oh, this won't work. <laughs> nope, there's another piece of grass. <laughs> We're watching this June bug struggle. Oh, there he goes again, just keeps trying to climb the grass. <laughs> he keeps thinking it's a good idea, but he's never <laughs> going to make it to the top. Here he goes again. I want to make it to the top. Oh, here I go. Oh, it's grass again. Oh, it bent over. Oh, dang it, I weigh too much. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'll try these other grass pieces over here. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to one of them. Oh, there's a good, there's a good one, there's a good one right here. No, no, dang it! Oh, gee, oh god, I can't get to the top of the dang grass. Where's well, nice stick them? Oh, I'm gonna fly for real this time. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna fulfill my destiny. Here we go. Oh, dang it! That wasn't a good one. Alright, this is not this is alright. Alright, some more grass. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, 
Stop trying to climb the grass, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, you almost did it. Monty, don't you pop the sleeping pads. Okay, come on in. Come on. Come here. Don't you scrape it. Lay it down. That was a good, that was very graceful, Monty. That was very graceful. How's my hair? Is it beautiful? It looks super, it looks super good. So, like, I'm full, and my hair is just amazing. This is what I look like now. Okay, so, I ate all my food. I'm very sunburnt, and my hands are, I just, I'm feeling the sunburn real bad. And, uh, I can't see. Anyways, let's get up and do fishing. I'm full. Monty's fluffy. Good night. Sleepy time. Bye. Hey, Monty. Hey. Good morning. It's a stinky doggy. Oh, look at your little face. Are you swimming? Are you swimming on the sleeping pad? Oh, I think he is. Oh, he's swimming. Oh, he's swimming. Oh. Don't you sneeze. Dog, dog, dog. We slept pretty good last night. But I think Mr. Mud Stinky is ready to get up. It's a little cooler today. Definitely a temperature change, which is definitely welcomed. I prefer the cooler temps. Feels like it's like 50 to 60. It's a lot better than the 70 to 80 we've been dealing with. Right, Monty? We both like the cooler temps. So, it's time to get up and greet the day. Let's do it, Mr. Overbite. You want freedom? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Ready to attack me in the morning. Come here. Don't burn. 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 This is a stick. Yes. Whoa, that was a super bouncy bunny. Super down, super down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the best way? Hey, stop it. Oh, it feels good to finally be able to put some layers on. I got my hat, my gloves, I got some thermals on. Feels nice. Feels nice.
Bring it here, Psycho. I guess he's just going to thrash the stick over there. Bring it here. Bring it here, Psycho Pants. That's a big stick you got there. He's an extra frisky critter this morning. So, I suppose it is time to queue up the coffee with meal sequence. Oh, yes. Let us begin. Body special treats. You want breakfast? You want to eat your food? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Imagine.
Looks like we'll be going with the wind today. That'll be kind of nice. Then we can just slowly drift and troll the whole way. I think we're going to do the uh, tri-line setup, or the two-line. Put the leech on the old thingy and the other thingy. And have the two thingies. And then we'll have a big old thingy. Well, hopefully we'll catch a thingy. pretty much all the way packed up other than these few dishes here so we're gonna finish up breakfast get in that water get to pallet portage in and fish head I just love how ready Monty is to get in the boat. He's just like, I know what we're doing. So, uh, well, whenever you're gonna ask me to jump in, I'll jump in, okay? I just want you to know I'm ready, okay? Don't think I'm not, okay? I know you're ready, Mr. Monty. I caught over here. Right over here. Come on. Go ahead, Monty. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. Uh, Monty, I'm sorry I've been farting so much. Okay. Well, what do we got for today? So we're on this nice old lake here. Oh, you hear the loons? La 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 loon! La 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 loon! <sighs> yeah, we got a big lake. So, what we are going to do is we're gonna troll for a minute. Um, there seems to be some nice islands in a ways. So, I would like to cast a slip bobber and leech around those islands. So that's what we're gonna do. But so far this the 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 shore doesn't seem as crazy good right now, but I know it's super deep here. So we're gonna get on our old two two line get up and do some trolling. Try to pick up something nice. Nice pike or a nice walleye or a nice laker or a nice bass. So let's get this set up and get to movings. All right, we're gonna try another new lure. I've got a glass chartreuse and orange shad wrap that I have not used and I bought back in the day. That's what we're gonna run up. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm worried it's going to have a different pull because I tested the other one and it worked with this and it was just close. So we've got our leech on our Eerie Deary. We're gonna run off the bottom. Now let's slowly let out line, see if it swims. I'm gonna have to test it quick. Make sure it doesn't tangle the lines. Eh. I guess we'll just see what happens.
Well, we've been trolling for an hour already. Not a single bite. I think I'm gonna need to take a bathroom break here because that coffee's running right through me. Number one, of course, not number two. Already did that, took care of that one. We're not looking for a double poop today. But uh, yeah, it's a little breezy, a little chilly. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I I prefer when the uh, these waves keep turning us because they're catching my back end. And this has got a lot of pull on it, so it keeps just, I keep just having to troll real slow because anytime I get moving, it starts forcing me to one side or the other. And then I really get cruising and I won't be able to catch a fish that way. So I think we're gonna pull on the shore here in a minute, take a break and then uh, get back out here. Oh, that's bouncing bottom. That's not good. We don't wanna lose these doors. We're in a little back bay near those islands. We don't have any luck trolling. Uh, look at that little rock slide over there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I want to fish near that. That's what brought wanted me to come over here. Because I love fishing near those. The wind's a little rough right here. So we're definitely in like the farther side of the lake where all the wind's pushing. But we're just gonna try near this rock slide a little bit and then we're gonna drift back into the channel. Um, we're gonna get out of the wind in a minute here. I just, I have to try near this. I always have good luck near these where there's tons of little rocks that just slide right into the water because there's all sorts of habitat for like crayfish and minnows. So I feel like most fish love hanging out around that area for food. It's just so dang windy. Luckily, I've got the boat fully loaded down because if I wasn't, if I didn't have my gear bag and Monty and the food bag and everything, I would just be blowing around like crazy. This would be impossible. Ah. Could be tough to catch fish today, uh, just because it's so cold and like windy. Definitely a different system has moved in, but I still think we'll get one. I still think we'll find a hungry fish that wants a bite of leech. Oh, come on, boat. Right, we're only doing a few more casts here. I don't want to deal with this wind right now. Right, we got a break. Now is our now is our time. Mm. I'm just like casting ahead of myself and then paddling, because I don't want to fight the wind. So I'm just like casting, paddling towards my bobber. <laughs> and seeing if I get a bite by the time I get there, and then I'm resetting. All right, there we go, nice little break from the rain. Oh, there's so many downed trees here. A little rain sprinkle has started. If it gets any steadier, we're gonna have to uh, suit up because we don't want to mess around with getting wet today. A little chilly. Oh. How is there no fish right here? I mean, look at this beautiful rock slide. I never get skunked near two of these. What's going on? What the heck? Just need a fishy, come on. 
no fishies, man, tea. No fishies, man, tea. No fishies, man, tea. No fishies for me. But it is not today. Do you remember how they were so delish? Probably won't taste them again. No, Monty, no fish. Mm -mm. No fish for us. Okay, I've casted all around these islands, down this channel, in between this shallower spot. I cast it out deeper. I set my thing to like 15 feet. Ah, uh, you know, we've spent a good three hours paddling and fishing on this lake already today. And nothing to show for it. So, we're going down at the end of the lake here. And this is when we should start to get into some decent fishing. Um, it basically turns into a river and dumps into other lakes and I've always had good luck near rushing water whether it's the top or the bottom and we're gonna we're gonna dump a fish there so we'll see what we can come up with Some kind of tainy fish is biting it. Hmm. I don't want a teeny fish. I want a big fish. It's a nice little beaver home right there. It's just so dang windy. It's just so dang windy and cold. Maybe they don't want to come out to play today. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna set this thing a little deeper and try right in the center here. It, it bowls, I can see it bowls, it bowls back here. It's a bowl. A fish bowl. Alright, let's catch it. Dang it. Oh jeez. My So as you can see, we decided to move on. Uh, I just didn't get to fish that spot as much as I wanted to because it was just too windy. So we're just gonna keep moving. There's tons of little lakes and a few portages and we're just gonna get to a spot where we actually can catch some fish. This is too shallow to catch fish. Since we got such a good track record skipping teeny portages,
figured we'd try skipping one. This could be a bad idea, Monty. fun. I don't know what you're worried about, Monty. Uh oh, round two. This one doesn't look so bad. They never look bad until they are. Right, Monty? That was the wrong time to stand. That was close. I can understand why you're not a fond of skipping teeny porges, Monty. I get it now. <laughs> oh. Boom. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was definitely questionable timing on when you stood up, Monty. See, all that was was Mother Nature didn't spank us enough yesterday, so I just needed to spank myself <laughs> by almost flipping. I knew Monty would be good for a, a random stand. <laughs> oh, where are we at right now? Let's see, that one. Okay. I think we've got two or three more. There could be fish in this lake. We should probably take a few casts. We'll just take a few and we'll see. There's gotta be fish here. It doesn't seem very deep though. It seems real shallow, which I don't like. I do not like shallow. But we'll still try. We'll give a few casts. First cast, something. Hey. I can't complain about that. Hey, that's nice. <gasps> no. No. The drag wasn't tight enough and I don't think I set the hook very well. Dang it. Now we have to fish here for a minute. really stinks. Dang it. It was the first good bite of the day and it was definitely a fish. I don't know if that was a walleye. Oh, we're going to bite. There it is. Uh, something. Uh, I want to my net. It's not to the ready. Uh, what are you? Oh, I see what you are. Ooh, that's a nice chunky bobby. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh jeez. Does not want to get hooked. Or I mean netted. Oh, Come here, big guy. Oh, that's a nice one. 
Oh, that's a big chunky Bobby. Oh, big old Bobby. Oh, that's a piggy. Oh, that is a piggy. Oh, look at that guy. That's a nice first fish of the day. Big old Bobby Bass. Now we do want to fish dinner, but I'd like walleye. So we're going to hold out for a little bit until we become desperate. And at that point we will take anything. But for now, I've already had one delicious big old Larry fish dinner. I'm cool with waiting for a Walter. Looks like great territory. It seems real shallow over here. We're gonna go try back where I caught that first one. Here's another loon just floating by. Yeah, it seems just real shallow over here. me around <laughs> they've been coming right next to the boat this is the second time now <laughs> I'm just like moving around and they just come check me out and then they get all upset and then they'll just like aggressively go into the water hey if you guys want to come check out my boat let me know because I want to get some you get footage of you guys swimming under my boat come on over I don't bite oh see there they go let's see if they'll come they might come check out the boat. down tree there's got to be a fishy over here there's just got to be I wouldn't even believe you if you told me there wasn't no way come on now all right there's there's one near this thing I didn't cast very good near it but still might get one She is a stinky, poopy, stinky dog, stinky butt, butt, butt dog. He stinks like poo, poo, poo. Monty, you so stinky. You are so stinky. Monty, t stinky. Monty, stinky. Here's a nice down tree just sitting in the water. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be one close to this, maybe. Pretty good. Could be a fish here. Hmm. I feel like there should be a 
fishies here. Just troll them. They gotta work pretty good for this casting. Well, this is a short little, short little paddle to the next portage. It's right up ahead. We're gonna troll this. About that far behind my boat. Oh my team. Jeez. There you go, stinker. Hi, Monty. Oh, so we got the rushing water here. We've got a nice lake. We're gonna do some fishing here. So we're just gonna take a little snack break. Got some cheese that got very warm and then got cold and is now solid again. So nothing better than melty, unmelty, warm, melty, soft, melty cheese. Mm. Mm hmm You complaining about the cheese, Monty? I'm not. Melty, warm, soft, gross cheese is better than no cheese. Monty's just singing. Every treat you take, every crinkle you make, all the food you bake, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. <laughs> hey, no, Monty. I've been bringing some extra um, crunchies lately. Um, I got combos. You can have a combo, Monty. Baked pretzel and cheddar. And then of course, Captain's wafers, grilled cheese. I wanted the uh, the lemon cookie ones. It's like lemon filling. They're delicious, but they they were out. Disappointing. This is why he doesn't eat his food in the middle of the day because I just keep feeding him treats. We got some beef jerky that was sent to me by subscribers. I already ate that one. Let's try this one. Larissa's Kitchen, Szechuan Pavacon. What do you say, Monty? I'll try it first and let you know if it's safe. Mm. Pretty safe, Monty.
So yeah, we're gonna continue snacking up for a minute. And then we're gonna fish this moving water right here and fish around this lake. And we'll either stay here or the next lake. It's going one more part to the next lake, so. We'll see how we're feeling. Here's a funny thing. If I feed him his, his dog food one by one, he'll eat it like it's treats. But if I pour it into the bowl, he won't touch it. <laughs> You're getting my hands all slobbery. All right, let's see if he'll eat some. Oh, go ahead. You proved me wrong. Good for you. It's probably because I hand fed him some. Don't freak out, ducks. I'm friendly. I, the current took me here. There's two ways I like fishing this moving water near uh, where it's, yeah, it's coming in like, I'll show you in a second. But I like to either use the slip bobber and let it kind of float along or take like a jig with this with my white twister tail, which well, I'm gonna use a leech instead. And you just kind of cast this and let it sit on the bottom and the moving water kind of makes it wiggle around and they come and pick it up. So let's give it a shot, see if there's anything here. It's kind of shallower than I'd like it to be and it's not moving as fast. So they can see pretty well. Usually I like it if they can't see as much. Is that a fish already? Oh no, geez, I was gonna say. Might be a little too shallow right here for this little cast and drag method. Let's try the slip bobber instead. Oh, something's going after it. Something just nipped at the bobber. Something definitely just bit at the bobber. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Ah, ah. I knew there was something there. What do we got? Oh, we got a big old bobby bass. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, that's a chunky bobby. Oh, don't wrap around that tree. Don't you do it, bobby. Don't do me like this, bobby. Bobby, come on, bobby. Bobby, now come on, bobby. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, that's a chunker. Oh, it's even bigger than the last one. Oh, man. That is a chunky guy. Woo-wee. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, simmer down. Simmer down now. I'll let you free. Hey. Look at that guy. That's a nice bass. <laughs> Boom. All right. See, they, they like to hang out near there. It just, the, the slip bobber method worked better. All right, like I said, we're gonna let these go all day. I will not keep any bass today. I want walleye. What we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna hold out for a walleye fish dinner, and if we get desperate, we'll take bass at the end of the trip. You know, like I always say, if there's moving water, there's fish. And if there's fish, you guessed it, you'll catch them. There's gotta be more here. There ain't just that one. 
get a nice, it's pretty, it's fairly deep here. So I just got my bobber going right along the edge of this moving water here. Well, the sun's kind of peeking out. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Let's just try casting the old uh, leech on the jig head and see if that that pulls in anything. Lots of good weeds. This looks like a great spot. I should probably just use my normal. Oh yeah, this looks great. There's got to be fish lurking around here. There's lots of weeds. All right, let's do a little trolling across this through these weeds. Maybe we can pick up a nice pike. This is definitely good territory. I'm just not gonna let out a ton of line. I'm just gonna take a pick a floater. And we're gonna, we're gonna ride around these weeds a little bit. Peter! <laughs> Hello, Peter. Oh, I was, uh, I just saw a, a bass go for a bug on the top of the water. So I was like, I'm going to bring this thing in. And then right, right when I got it near the boat or whatever, r r pretty close, I saw this thing just <laughs> attack it. All right, we got our Peter. Yeah. Now we've only got to catch a fish tomorrow and the next day. And all the goals have been met for the trip. <laughs> Yes, that's not a bad sized pike. Let's, let's get this guy unhooked, then we can take a peek at him. He attacked this thing. Oh yeah, he put a, how did he do that? Oh, he stretched out the knots. I see, he didn't rip a hole in the net, he just like stretched out the knots. And now I've gotta re-stretch him or, el or else we'll uh, have a big gap there. I'll have to fix that up. There we go, that's about a, that's about a 24 inch pike. Right around there. 22 to 24, somewhere in there. Maybe more like 22, I don't know. That's a good sized pike, let's let him go. like this whole area with th these weeds there's probably just fish all over but I'll do better trolling rather than casting because I'll cover more ground so I should probably just go back to trolling because that lure will catch everything yeah we're just gonna continue trolling it worked once eh why not why wouldn't it work again Saw one. Let's see if that guy is scared will bite. Somewhere over there. I don't remember exactly where. I didn't want to give up, and I caught one. It's a monster! Holy crap! How am I gonna get this thing in? Bobby Jr. See ya. See old Bobby J. 
Bobby J. Okay, I just tried using my Go Fish camera to uh, get some underwater footage of fish biting. And I had something bite, but I don't know if it recorded because I had it in the water for maybe five minutes on a full charge and it died. <laughs> five minutes. Those things are not worth it at all. Uh, I'll try charging it again. Maybe we'll have another fish bite within five minutes or three minutes or whatever it lasts for. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd bring it and it just, it did what I expected it to, which is pretty much nothing. <laughs> Dang it. There's fish surface in which I'm, they might be suckers. They seem like bass, but they could be suckers. I'm gonna slowly drift over and see. Whatever they are, they aren't really interested in my leech on the slip bobber. There's bass everywhere right here. Oh my gosh, there's like five bass. If I move my camera, I'm gonna scare them. How on earth? I'm gonna try to really slowly go for my camera. Fish cam ain't got nothing on GoPro and little persistence.
that that was difficult to get that took a while but i finally got one look at this guy that is just a, that has got to be the biggest one so far look at that pig just a big old piggy bobby bass <laughs> all right let's let this guy go I'm not sure how many I just caught on camera, but I know I at least got the big one. I'm pretty sure I got that one on camera of him eating that. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that's a nice on and on camera. But there's still, there's so many here. Oh, this is a chunker. Oh, piggy. I don't know how I'm gonna leave. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, he's not happy. Ooh. Oh, look at that piggy. Oh, that's a chunky bass. Oh, that's a big fat bass. <laughs> oh, let's let this one go. Definitely killed a couple hours here. <laughs> well, we still gotta find a campsite and everything. It's okay, I'm having too much fun right now. I don't even know how many fish I've caught. But that doesn't mean I don't wanna catch more. We are gonna need some walleye. We got two hours and 20 minutes of sunlight left. We still gotta find a campsite. So we should probably start trolling. So let's do another bass or two and then we'll go. We'll troll to a campsite. Oh, it. Okay, we, we got to find a campsite and uh, do some trolling in case we want walleye. So we're going to start trolling our way to a campsite. Just after I... Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. What just happened? 
Who took my bobber off? I gotta get that back. <laughs> there it is. We, geez. I can't believe you took. I can't believe you took that off. All right, we. All right, now, now we gotta go. <laughs> So, I know it might not seem like it's possible, but I might have possibly spent a little too much time fishing, and uh, it, it, it might take us a little longer to find a campsite than I thought. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I had fun though, I caught a lot of fish, so we'll see. Uh, I don't know if I should keep trolling, I don't know if there's a, it's a good idea to try because right now I'm, tr I'm going really slow with my line trolling to try to catch a walleye. And that's going to take me even longer to get to camp. And I'll probably end up getting to camp in the dark. In which case, if I get to camp in the dark, I ain't going to want to cook up no fish. I'm just going to want to eat spaghetti, whip up camp real quick. So, I think I should probably bring in the line and pick up the pace. But it's so hard to not want to troll. But I did already catch like seven big old bass today. Did I catch seven? One pike, one bass, a couple little bass, a couple nice big bass. I don't know. And there's a beaver up ahead. Beaver please. So I got I got I got decisions to make. To to keep trolling and get to camp in the dark or to stop trolling and get to camp in the light. That is the question. Beaver if you slap at me I swear I will do nothing but watch. Oh beaver, please. I was rethinking about how many times I've arrived to camp in the dark, and it's a lot more than I was originally thinking when I thought about it earlier in this trip. <laughs> so many more. Uh, yeah. When haven't I? I feel like there's more times I haven't arrived to camp in the dark at this point. Oh, geez. I've definitely done it with funk. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, lots. <laughs> oh, Captain Teeny Trout got a taste of that. My dad and my brother got a taste of that. Pretty much every person I brought on a wilderness trip has got a taste of showing up to camp in the dark. I'm real good at it. <laughs> but hey, I guess I'm probably one of the more efficient or whatever you want to say is night paddlers. I'm an efficient night paddler. I've done it a lot. I've even navigated in the rain, in the snow. <laughs> Thunderstorm is the only thing. Thunderstorm and crazy winds are the two things I haven't done in the night, which I ain't going to do crazy winds. That sounds terrible. Thunderstorms sound just as terrible. Snow was pretty bad. Snow, you can't see. When you got your headlight and you're looking, it's just white. You can't see anything. That was that was not fun. Rains, you know, meh. But when you got the moon out and it's clear, it's actually enjoyable. If it's like calm and the moon's out and it's just clear skies, it's super enjoyable. Um, my dad and my brother got to experience that one and it's just kind of surreal because you can see so well. You can see the horizon. And it's just calm. They, they, you know, I don't think my dad enjoyed that one as much. I didn't mind. I was used to it. Monty. I think we're going to have to stop trolling here. And move towards camp. And then, yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. I figured it out. We're going to stop trolling. And if we get to camp early enough, we're going to set a line and catch walleye straight from camp. We'll catch seven. It'll be easy. Okay, no problem.
Hey. Hey. I think we still got to a campsite in the light. And I, I decided to troll my line because I saw some fish jumping. So, we did both. Victory. This looks like a really grassy campsite. Ooh, am I going to be able to fish from shore here? It seems kind of shallow. I don't know. Just got here and set up my line and this loon just popped up out of nowhere. I think he might live near here and he doesn't like us. But there's nothing I could do about that. What do you think, Monty? Hey, you can come join us if you want. Oh! Lululoon. I'm gonna reset my line if that's cool with you. Is that okay? Don't mind me. Oh, my, my, my leech is gone. Something might have already taken it. Oops, sorry. I accidentally cast right next to the loo and I was aiming that way. I don't think he liked that. It's my bad, dude. Sorry. Our loon friend is just hanging out. Okie dokie. We got a nice grassy spot. So far that uh, sleeping pad that I patched up seems to be holding air. It might have a slow, small leak, but it seems to be holding air pretty good so far, so that's great. The patches that come with the kit kind of suck, and they're more for punctures, but the, that slice, I don't know, that whatever gear aid patches, I just bought them randomly because I wanted some kind of like uh, patches for my rain gear and stuff, and they seem to work. Oh, didn't see you there, Monty. What you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you think about I'm not gonna. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Come here. Come here, vicious. Okay.
Dang it, man. Hope this goes a little smoother than the other day. Oh, there we go.
Jeez. It's crazy. I know you're a Sith Lord. Oh, jeez. I've never seen you so vicious with a stick, Monty. Oh, you win. You win. You just give me a hand stick. <laughs> you laying on the mud. Lay down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It is time for some food, Monty. The doctor has ordered that I need spaghetti. I haven't got any bites on my fish. I, I lost a couple leeches, so I might have had something pull them off, but I doubt it. Um, I can hear our loon friend catching fish after fish over there. I think he's trying to embarrass us. But he's not because I caught some pretty big fish today. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Spaghetti. I feel like you're looking at me like I'm gonna pull out this monster bag of beef jerky, which is not what's gonna happen. There's yours, Monty. All right, it's still spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Mind you, you can tell by the way that it is. I've been doing like portions at a quarter actually, because portion and a half is just way too much spaghetti. Portion and a third seem to be even cutting it close, but portion and a quarter, just the right amount, a full. Yeah. Oh yeah. So 
so far the new size gravity filter, I really like it because normally I'd fill up my three Nalgene's and I'd need to grab another thing of water. But with this one, I've been able to just use a bunch of water and then just go right over and fill it back up. Oh yeah, I don't like the smoke either, Rati. So I am going to uh, have myself a little electric electrolyte water to replenish all the water I did not drink today because I think I drank no water today, <laughs> which is just terrible. Monty, it's not good to do. I know you, you drank more water than I did today. I saw you. You were smart. I was focusing on trying to catch fish and I was failing for the most part. But now we're going to drink one of these. We're going to have soupy spaghetti, Monty. Mm-hmm. We're going to have some, what is this, berry kiwi water? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So for dessert tonight, I got myself some Cadbury fruit nut bars. I've got two of them and I haven't eaten either of them. That means tonight I get to eat an entire bar. I was actually sent a box of these also by a subscriber. This is my favorite chocolate bar. Fruit nut bar. Cadbury fruit nut. My dad loves these. Go got me hooked on them. Cadbury fruit nut bar and tropical starburst. Orange. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Monty, I shouldn't do this. It's a little sliver. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wherever it went. Up, up. Come on, up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Monty, right here. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, Oh, good boy. Look at you. He's a little more. Okay, that's that's good. He never does that one. That's Ruger's specialty trick right there. All right, Ruger, Monty, I can't. It's starting to get a little chilly. We are just gonna let this night settle in, cook up our spaghetti, and uh, relax, yeah. It's definitely after sunset. I'm eating an early dinner tonight. Uh, tomorrow, the focus is fish dinner. I really want a walleye fish dinner, Mr. Walter. Oops, poops. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is I want my fish dinner tomorrow. So we're gonna we're gonna focus like to like three or four o'clock. We're gonna just go for walleye. If it hits about that part, like a little after middle of the day, then I will take whatever, basically bass or walleye. I probably won't go to pike. We'll push it off to the last day if, if that's the case. But I think we can get it tomorrow. And we'll we don't have a crazy. We don't really actually. I think we only got two portages tomorrow. So we can fish the whole day, like an entire day of fishing. And they're not big portages. One is teeny tiny, one is pretty small as well. So yeah, full day of fishing. And let's get a big old fish dinner. But yeah, we're gonna let the night just creep in, cook up our food, and then we gets to eatin'. Gets to eatin'. Our loot friend is back. He's been having all sorts of luck fishing. And I have not. I've been seeing him catch fish. Or hearing him. I've been hearing him catch fish at least. What's your secret? Tell me. I can't get a fish. Okay? I can't catch one. And you're seeming to be catching lots of them.
What's on the menu tonight, Monty, you ask? Well, I have got a special treat for you. First, we're gonna start with some boiled water. Oh yeah, I know, you, th you're, you might think you know where this is going, but trust me, you don't. We're gonna add some dry kibble to that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But wait, Monty, that's not all. To that dry kibble, we are gonna add some pumpkin powder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't even see it coming. I see you licking your lips. I see you licking your lips. But wait, Monty, that's not all. We have got some fish oil and joint supplements. Oh yeah, and guess what else we're gonna do, Monty? Oh yeah, we're gonna just mangle it with a stick. Oh yeah, Monty, oh yeah. Can you even contain yourself? You want that treat? Do you want that treat? Oh yeah, you gotta let it cool down, Monty. It's gonna blow your mind. You've never had, well, you've had this every day your entire life, but it's still gonna be just as delicious. Oh yeah, lick them lips, Monty. Like them chompers. Look into your beady little eyes. Let that little twofer stick it out. Yeah, it's gonna be all yours, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Just imagine my just like, mm, oh yeah, mm, oh yeah, mm, oh, oh, it's so good, oh, it's delicious, oh, it's, uh, it's so delicious, it's like I, I forget what it tastes like till I start eating it, it's so delicious. <sighs> okay, I've let this sit for a good hour, I swear it's been an hour. If it ain't cooled down, I'm gonna throw it into the lake. I would never do that. It's still pretty warm. Mm. It's good eating temperature, but it's surprising how long it takes to cool out. Mm. I'm just like Monty in this regard, like, he eats the same thing every night, delicious. I can eat my spaghetti every night, and it's delicious. All right, I'm gonna finish up my food here. Relax by the fire for a bit. <coughs> Choke. And then we'll check back in with you guys when we're getting ready for a bit. What the heck was that? Ugh. Steven, what are you doing on my backpack? Steven. Steven, get out of there. Stay, don't make a way of my backpack, Steve. Steve, get, what are you doing? Steven, what I tell you about making webs in my backpack? I put my back on there. Come on, man. Be cool. Be cool, man. Yeah, come on, you. Come on. Come on, T. It took you so long.
on, buddy. Yeah, this is your new home. Don't you dare scrape. Don't you even think about it. Good boy. That was so good. Look at that, you even posed for the camera. It's like you know. It's like you know. Are you a paid actor, Monty? Are you a paid actor? Paid in treats, huh? Paid in treats and pets and stick sessions. More like you beat me with your stick, huh? Oh, oh. you got some crap in your fur, Monty. Oh, I'll get it. He doesn't like when I pull stuff out of his fur. Anyways, I feasted on spaghetti. <sighs> tomorrow is a big day of fishing. We need to have a fish dinner tomorrow. It's got to happen tomorrow. We got to catch a Walter. We got to have at least one Walter. That'll be that'll be fine. So let's take it one. Um, Monty, that doesn't look right. Don't don't do that. That Monty, that doesn't look right. Don't do that. Looks gross. Anyways, yeah. Um, it's time to pass out. I think I might sleep. Monty, that looks disgusting. Uh, anyways, whatever. I think I might sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the morning.